I'm super stoked that I was able to figure this out because I've been trying to find a solution to basically iCloud for PC for I don't even know how long. I finally figured it out. I, I was even talking to Google for their Google Drive tech support and everything, and they couldn't figure it out. They told me that it's not possible to do this, and they're trying to basically just tell me that I need to find a different solution because it's not going to work with Google Drive. Long story short, it does. And the reason I'm using Google Drive is because I have too much storage for OneDrive. I have my laptop here. I have the desktop here. What I want to do is I want to be able to work on something on the desktop, and then I can just pick up the laptop and continue from exactly where I left off. So if I have a video going, and the project file and everything, I can save the project file. The saved project file will get updated here and then I can just continue editing and doing whatever, and then I can save it on here, and then come back here, and vice versa. So it's completely seamless between both computers. Microsoft was not able to figure this out, and Google Drive, they told me that it's impossible, because when you sync your computer, it makes two completely separate backups. So the way that Google explained how this would work, let's say that this test folder right here, let's say that this is my downloads folder. So I would select this, and now anything downloaded on this computer is gonna sync to this folder. Then what I have to do is go on this computer, go to the Google Drive directory and I take the file and then drag it to my local storage so that way it's it's stored on the computer itself. Kind of works but that's not as seamless as I was looking for. I'm looking for like an iCloud situation where, where you literally download a file and it's there on both computers. The exact same way that like iPhoto used to work and everything where you just sync all of your pictures from your phone, it would sync through iCloud and just be on your computer ready to go. Exact same situation. So I'm going to show you how I figure this out. When you're installing backup and sync, onto the desktop. So this is where we're gonna start. So we're gonna start on the desktop. It comes to the screen where it asks what local folders you wanna sync. So you uncheck all of them, every single one. Now on Google Drive itself, like on the browser, you're gonna make your folders, photos, videos, uh, music, documents, downloads, all of the local directories that are on your computer. So like these ones here where uh, you have your documents, your downloads, music, pictures, and videos. So all of those where all of the files are normally gonna go and programs are gonna associate with those folders, those are going to be on on Google Drive. You have to replicate all of those folders. So on Google Drive, you make all of these folders so they match. Uh, you can't do desktop because that's saved locally to the computer itself. Even if you change it, it'll still default back to its regular location. So you can only do these ones. As well as any other folders that you want to do, it's just that the computer is going to associate with these directories by default. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Google Drive tab here on the side and we're going to select in Google Drive which folders we want to sync. So this one here is the only one that I'm going to sync and that's the test downloads because that's the first folder that I'm doing. So I'm just testing the downloads folder. So this right here is a folder that's on Google Drive. So I'm going to sync this one. So now this folder appears on the computer. So now Google Drive in the cloud has that test downloads folder. Now the test downloads folder is going to appear on this computer and this computer because I have them both synced to, to download that folder. And I have all of the local directories off. So now all I have to do is I just have to go to the Google Drive folder, which is going to be under your username and then Google Drive. So now that we're in this folder, we can just copy the location and we can go back to this PC here and then we can just go to the downloads icon right here and we can right click so that way we can change the location. So we're going to go to properties, location, and then we just paste the location in here. Downloads are going to go to this location, which is a local directory on the computer. So if you don't have internet, it's just going to save everything in this folder. So it's still going to work completely fine. Even if you don't have internet, it's just changing where that folder is located. But because you're changing the directory, the computer still operates to the downloads folder, which is now changed to this. And then you're going to repeat the exact same thing here. You're going to right click downloads, go to properties, location, change the location to that default Google Drive location on the computer, which you can also change to wherever you want. So for instance, this computer here has the NVMEs as the boot drive and then my hard drives for the actual storage itself. So if I don't want the NVMEs to be filled with everything that's being synced between 
both computers, I can just go on the desktop computer here and install backup and sync to the hard drives. So now anything in that Google Drive folder is going to be stored on the hard drives, which is exactly where I already have these locations. So that's not going to change anything with my storage. It's still going to operate exactly the same. It's just going to be one manual folder that I would have to go in more if I didn't already have those shortcuts in this PC. So really there's no extra steps for me to actually access these folders. It's just one extra folder that the computer has to go into. So now right here, this PC downloads. So this is the default location for the computer. So we can just make a new folder in here. So we're going to make a new one and we're going to call it desktop. Just because we're on that desktop, it'll make it easier to uh, distinguish between the different things that we're creating here. So now desktop is created in the downloads folder. So you could do this on any computer. It's just going to make a folder in the downloads folder. Makes sense. So now if we go over to the user account here, and then we have the Google Drive default location right here, and in here is downloads. And that's that test folder that I ended up making. So I can click that and you can see that it has desktop right here. That's that folder that I just made. So this default Google Drive location is now where all of the Windows system directories are going to be saved for the user account. So you just have to make a folder in Google Drive for each one that you want to sync. Then you change the default location on your computer to that. So right now, this situation that's set up is that anything I download, anything I put in my pictures, music, videos, documents, anything like that, because I set up each folder individually, means that if anything happens to this computer, I have a full backup that's ready to go on Google Drive. You can already do that literally just with a few clicks if you just click those folders at the beginning. But the thing is, you can't sync those folders to a different computer. So now, because we've set up that folder to also sync on this computer, all we have to do is just go to downloads because we've already changed the default directory to match that. So now this computer's default directory for downloads is Google Drive. This computer's default directory for downloads is Google Drive. So now all we have to do is go to downloads and we have the folder right there, desktop. So now on the desktop here, I'm just gonna go back to the default location here and I'm just gonna open downloads. So that way right here, you can see that it says this PC download. So this is just like it would normally be with any computer. Now on the laptop, again, we're in this PC download, same directory. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a new folder called laptop. Perfect. So you can see that it's syncing. There we go. Laptop. And if I want to delete a file, I can just delete desktop and it's going to sync. So it's sending the command that I've deleted that folder to Google Drive, which tells it that the folder in Google Drive is now deleted. Google Drive recognizes and then tells the computer that that folder is now deleted. So there's a slight delay because it is going over the internet to do this. I now have a seamless workflow between both computers. Now, one thing I was a little bit skeptical of is changing all of these directories to Google Drive, because what if I don't have internet? Well, because the Google Drive location is locally stored on the computer, I can just turn the Wi-Fi off. So we'll disconnect from the Wi-Fi. We have no internet now. I will make a new folder here. This one's called offline. Okay, so you can see the little blue icon there. So that means that it's syncing and it doesn't have internet so it can't sync so obviously nothing is coming up right now but we still have this folder and the folder still fully exists so we can make another file right in here call this one file because that'll just be like a regular file that we'd be storing and we can still use the computer just like we normally would we can open the files and everything so we'll write test in there and then we'll save that okay so now we have a file that says test and everything's still good we can still use the computer completely fine without internet it's running just like a regular computer because it's all stored locally. Now we're just going to connect to the Wi-Fi again. And now it is going to take a minute because we added a few more files. So it should just start syncing down here in the corner. It just has like the little up arrow right now. And now it's the spinning arrow. So now it's syncing. And then over here, we have a folder called offline. And in here we have the text file, which says test. We can literally transfer files and update projects and use the computers seamlessly together as one computer. Because now anything I do on this computer, any files that I make, any any projects or anything that I'm doing, even games and save files that aren't cloud saves can benefit from this. As soon as it connects to the internet, all of that changed information is going to sync to Google Drive and then sync back to this computer and alter all of those default locations. And Microsoft OneDrive just doesn't have this 
figured out yet. It's kind of like that, but there's still different confirmations and stuff, and you can't have more than one terabyte. And right now I have just a little bit more than nine terabytes of stuff. So the 10 terabyte plan, it ends up fitting perfect for what I need right now. So that way I can have all of the raw footage and everything stored. So the desktop computer is going to be fully backed up to Google Drive. And then the laptop is going to have access to all of the files that are being used. So that's going to be like the videos folder and not all of the archive stuff that I have. So normally what I'm doing, because all of the files are stored on the hard drive, to keep the speed going really fast on this, I'll start a project on the NVMEs. And then once I finish the video, I put it all back onto the hard drive. So if I have a project onto the NVMEs, it's going to sync, which means that I have all of the raw footage and project files and changes and everything ready to go on my laptop. So hopefully that helps someone out because I was trying to wrap my head around this for so long and I could not figure it out. There's no software that does exactly this and it's so unbelievably simple once you actually figure it out. And Google Drive's IT people couldn't even figure it out when I was talking to them. So this is literally a seamless feature that Google Drive has and they don't even know that they can do this. So I highly recommend giving it a shot if you have two computers because now anything I do on my desktop is on my laptop. These are now the same computer using the same files with each other seamlessly. It's literally the desktop computer and then the mobile desktop computer exactly the way it should be. So I just figured this out and there's nothing about this anywhere online. I haven't found a single thing. So I'm just making this quick video just to describe the whole thing, but I'm currently working on a bunch of stuff with this desktop computer. So I'm going to be formatting it and I'm also going to do the same thing with the laptop just so I can show a full clean wipe and install of everything to show you how to set everything up from the, the very beginning. It's just right now I don't have time because there's tons of stuff going on. So that video will be coming out a little bit later on with full step-by-step -step instructions on how to do all of this. So get subscribed so you can watch that if that's something that you want to do. Uh, if you need help with any of this uh, for the time being until that full instructional video comes out, then leave a comment down below. Uh, like the video or whatever if you liked it. Uh, don't forget to join the members program. That's cool. Help me pay for Google Drive because that's stupid expensive. It's like $70 Canadian a month to have this whole thing set up, but it still sucks for how expensive it is. So, you know, join the members program. That's cool. You can help support the channel or don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.